Hey guys, welcome back for more SpongeBob Lights Camera Pants Bronze Mode. Um, when we first left off, uh, SpongeBob, aka me, and Squidward are tied for the lead. And this last minute game will determine the winner. I just hope uh, that I don't get screwed as my partner again, cause as there's like three two versus two games uh, at the beginning of this game. Let's do this. Oh no! <laughs> why video game god? Why? Oh well. Now the key, now the key to win this is uh, keep an eye on your player instead of instead of uh, the computer players on the bottom screen. You always have to look at the top screen. And when the uh, other players are on the uh, bottom screen, they have to keep an eye on the bottom screen, other than the top screen. If I'm not making sense, that's okay. Man, Patrick is clumsy! Looks like Patrick needs hand-eye coordination! <laughs> And so far, we're in the lead. Thank you, Squidward. Swap places! Here we go. We keep doing this for like a minute each. And now it's going even faster, which is much easier. Stupid Sandy! Duh! Bring it. Gotcha. Patrick and Sandy are not very good teammates. There comes the last pack. Oh, what a terrific teammate. Bring it. That was good. We rule. You rule. What are you talking about? You're losing. Oh, time to go faster. Boing. 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 Girl, you make me bounce, 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 If you don't know what that song is, watch the Street Fighter Deck episode with the guest star Sean Kingston. And Sean Kingston saying this, it's called a dumb love. It's a very good song, by the way. And now they save the best for last. Great job, pal. Oh my god! They're losing by that much? Gotcha. Alright, let's do this. Now you really gotta get your hand in the game. Gotcha. And that be like Patrick, because he's dumb. No offense, Patrick, I love you. No offense, Mars Rob, I love you too. Bouncy 
Feel free to call me a jerk because I do this for fun. That game is really easy. And we won. And the winner is. Oh, it's a tie. And the best way for a tiebreaker is a uh, rock, paper, scissors with bubbles. This is kind of embarrassing because uh, we usually play rock, paper, scissors with our hands, and now in this game, we they play rock, paper, scissors with bubbles. How in the world would they play rock, paper, scissors with bubbles? Three, this is ridiculous. Two, one. Oh, Scribble, you cheat! You look, you look at my my puppet, my buttons. Mark, paper, scissors, here we go! Three, you got lucky. Two, one. Did I win? Oh, no! I'll get you next time, I swear. Well, so far I didn't do so good cuz I got my butt kicked by Squidward. Well, he deserves it since he hates Spongebob. Long screen's not that long, so that's good. Bubble Bash, how did the waiter trials go? As I suspected, they were all terrible. Terrible! Blah, 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 shut up! <laughs> I hate your voice! The winner is. Squid with tentacles will be the best waiter of the bunch. Squidward? Okay, he's our waiter in the next roll then. Send a car for Squidward. All right, now we get to see a special sneak peek of the special episode of the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Just sorry, the sneak, uh, the super villain wall. Ah, the Krusty Krab, home of the world famous Krabby Patty, and today it is. Hey, buddy! I'm narrating this scene. Well, excuse me, Mr. Superhero sorry, announcer. My mistake. Thank you. <clears throat> the Krusty Krab. Here we find Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy sent to find the sneaky hermit. But the hermit is not here. Only tasty and nutritious meals at affordable prices. Ooh, monsieur, that was very good. Why, thank you. I have had some training and... Hey, is this thing still on? The barnacles. <laughs> Come on, Mermaid Man. That shady character at the beach obviously sent us on a wild goose chase. Don't be silly, son. There are no wild geese here. We're at the bottom of the ocean. He's got a point there. Oh, jeez. Ah, yeah. Bless you. They should make this into 3D. Pepper, please. I sure do love it. Uh, of course you do. <laughs> Screw my dress is funny. More? A little more, thanks? Uh... I can hear his voice, but his mouth is 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 a moving. I sure love that pepper. And bless you. We're wasting time. We should be out finding the sneaky hermit. 
Did you say sneaky hermit? Yes, I did. A hermit used to deliver my newspapers. <laughs> oh, that's a coincidence. Yeah. Bongo Boy has the same type of nose as Squidward. This is kind of weird. Well, have you seen anything suspicious? You mean like Man Ray dragging a wriggling sack into the chum bucket? I call that suspicious. Cause no one goes into the chum bucket. When did you see this? I don't get that. Out that window just now. Muscle, muscles, mermaid man, we've got work to do. To the chum bucket! I don't care where you go. <laughs> oh, yes. Silly Squidward. They don't know. He doesn't know anything about superheroes. Oh yeah. To the chum bucket away. And that is where we should stop for the next part. And stay tuned for the new adventures of Mermaid Man Bongo Boy and my later parts. Hasta la bye bye.